You know, it's really a pleasure to write and rehearse again. I really feel at home here without all the chaos of the prophecy. Oh, I agree. This is this is all great. But uh, the lockdown's over, and all of you can pretty much move out uh, as soon as tomorrow at this point. Don't you understand? None of us have anywhere else to go. We love it down here. Ah, looks like me and Thaddeus will be moving out first. Well, I still have access to my lighthouse, but there's something absolutely magical about this basement. I don't want to sound like a downer here. Can we please get back to the song? I was really digging the vibe. <laughs> yes, can we take this back to the, uh, the key of B flat so I can feel a little more comfortable with my clarinet? How's it possible you don't know how to play that thing in every key? What kind of wizard doesn't know what he's doing on the clarinet? And now, now, a wizard can't master everything at once. Let's have some manners here and take it easy on the guy. Well, the clarinet is one thing, but your voice and overall image is another. Have you really found what your style is yet? That's not exactly what I had in mind. Well, take it easy, Anna. Well, those glasses just might be suited better on one of the other clones, that's all. Uh, this is not exactly the peaceful band practice I had in mind. I don't exactly wear these glasses for style. I have astigmatism. Well, you got that right. Let Dixon put them on. Well, why am I getting involved with any of this? Well, can we just leave the poor bloke alone? He's just got to make an adjustment to this time period time period? I've been living in this time period my whole entire life. But maybe I should go back to the other dimension and get away from all this negative energy. And you know what? Good luck without a woodwind player. Dixon, you can have my glasses. Oh no, 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 no! We just lost one of our fellow clones and bandmates! What kind of band practice is this? You guys should be ashamed of yourself! Uh, I'm sure he'll be back. I think he's just got to work out a few of his issues. If you can't handle sarcasm, what are you doing in a band full of clones anyhow? What happened to Flintonius Bird? I have something important to say. It seems to me that we're now back to six clones. It seems that he has entered one of those other dimensions. In times like these, I beg you to be nice to your fellow clones. I sometimes you gotta take a hint in a positive manner. Well, I know we've been through a lot lately, and what I gotta say is gonna be upsetting to everyone, but I gotta get it off my chest. Well, this guy never stops investigating. It really does become a bit much after a while. You're not even working for anyone anymore. You just gotta keep yourself busy with all this. Well, what is this update you have for us anyway? There's been something I've been holding back for a long time now, but I can't hold it back anymore. There was a point in time when Chill Bill was searching the universe to figure out who cloned him. But it's not about him anymore. It's about who cloned all of us. I wish we could just give all this a rest and just enjoy having a good time for once. Why don't we let Joe speak? As much as we all love to move on, I think this question has been taking a toll on all of us. Exactly. Don't any of you think it's odd that besides this basement, no one's ever heard a human cloning, a time-traveling gondolier, a wizard, a prophecy, a guitar player with a cape and lion, and a male wiffle ball player named Rita Goldberg? Well, I guess me and Dixon are a bunch of blowhards. <laughs> what are you really trying to explain here? Nowhere on earth does anyone have these unique abilities. The only way it makes sense in my head is time travel or the universe at large. Now it's getting exciting. Chill Bill knowing Maurice Selkirk, the time traveling gondolier, throws up a huge red flag. Please don't tell me that you came down here to tell everyone that I went back in time with Maurice Selkirk to clone myself just so I could hang out in the basement with a bunch of cloned morons. Morons. Yes, let's not point any fingers at this point in time. I'm not pointing any fingers. Any one of us could be guilty. Is Chill Bill a clone is no longer the question. The question is, who cloned Chill Bill?